Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Rayman games for the Nintendo Wii, or rather all Rabbids games and one Rayman game on the Wii. You'll see why. Rayman Raving Rabbids 1 and 2 are controversial among Rayman fans. A portion of the fans don't like the Rabbids games because it strays away from what Rayman is all about, refusing to even try to play the games, others like it, others tried it but didn't like it. Rayman Raving Rabbids is a minigame collection, and it has a plot too, which makes the games great. I mean, usually in minigame collections, developers just throw some minigames and call it a day. But here, you get stories too, which make the minigames more cohesive to something. And also, these games distinguish themselves from other minigame collections by their personality. And the game has humor. These are one of the few party games that are fun to play even if you are alone. Sure, they become significantly better if you play them with friends, but it's rare to have fun alone in a party game. Rabbit's TV Party is another great party game. This game doesn't have a plot, making the overall gameplay less attractive. I mean, if there are only 20 minigames, you play them once and maybe not even all of them, you play just some of them and then move on to something that engages you more. What I want to say is that Raymond Raving Rabbits 1 and 2, having a story, you are more engaged in the gameplay. Whereas here, having only minigames, you get bored easily. The minigames are fun and humorous, and if you play the game with a friend, you can have some laughs. But it's just too bad that the game doesn't have that much replay value without a story. And judging by the experience I had with my friends, the games aren't solid enough to keep you interested that long. Raving Rabbids Travel in Time is similar to Raving Rabbids 2, but it's poorly executed. It's still a humorous minigame collection, but it's filled with bugs and glitches. And the minigames either don't respond that well or have weird controls. And overall, and this is a personal opinion, I didn't like the minigames in this game. They had less humor. It's up to you if, if you like the minigames or not, but the performance issues still remain. Rayman Origins isn't just a game, it's art. It looks beautiful and plays beautiful. It's a side-scroller with lots of charisma and humor. The game gets challenging in the latter levels, which is great for hardcore Rayman fans. But one thing I didn't like in the game was the grinding. In the second half of the game, you are forced to repeat some levels in order to progress. But aside of this, the game is a masterpiece, with great gameplay, great and responsive controls, and especially a unique and gorgeous art style. And I forgot the game. Thank you Infinite Laser 76 for telling me that I forgot it. The game was planned to be in the video. I mean, I even wrote the review and it was in the script, but somehow when I edited the video I left this one out, so I'm sorry. Anyway, Rabbids Go Home is a unique game. The rabbits want to leave the planet and go to the moon, and they want to get there by building a huge tower made out of junk. The game consists of running around in a shopping cart and collecting all the junk you can. You could compare it to Katamari, as you collect junk too in that game, but it isn't really like Katamari, it feels like some isometric kart racer, that is say also a platformer at the same time and an action adventure. The gameplay is good, and the game has the same humor as always. It can get repetitive at some point, as what you see is what you're doing most of the time in the game. Other than this, you will have some rubber levels and some rocket levels. Overall, it's a fun game, made even more fun by the humor present in the game. The controls are super responsive and I like how creative the game is. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. 
If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram, or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.